Hi! <laughs> Mix old school gauntlet with vampire survivors. And what do you get? Pixel Descent. Let's start a new run. Pick the night. Why the hell not? Start with the night. Let's see how far we can descend in this horrendous freaking dungeon. Already I'm stuck. There's just no way through. Oh, but the wall can be cracked open. And so begins the slaughtering of these filthy spirits and bloodthirsty zombies already got a level up. Let's get ourselves level two of arming sword so that more damage will be dealt to this filth, this pathetic pile of monsters that has been awaiting in my entrance for so long, ready to attack a newcomer. Give me a little bit more speed for us to move around this scum kill all those damn spawners of enemies and navigate this horrendous little gauntlet so that we can reach the exit it is extremely simple you run around this dungeon collect money and most notably keys and the keys will grant you access to the different color walls it is deceptively simple in the sense that you look at it and it's like eh, what kind of freaking game is this maybe i'll spend five minutes when i have a little bit of downtime waiting for my wife to get ready i'll fire this up so i can kill some people so that i don't go in the bathroom and strangle her well give me some more dexterity which is attack speed uh well, you play it. Go ahead and, and you know, purchase, make a purchase on Steam or wherever else they have released this game and fire up. See what happens. See if you can just, just put it down for after playing five minutes or you just stay playing the video game until 3 a.m. and the wife is yelling at your ear. Oh, but we were going to Geraldo's to have a delicious homemade pizza. I mean, they, they market it as homemade. Obviously, it's not homemade. It's like literally you're going to a restaurant, but they market it as a homemade pizza right at your restaurant door. And she was so excited to have some Geraldos, but here you are addicted to murdering ghosts, goblins. Sorry, sure. More, more sword. More sword. Why am I coming over here when this potion cannot be attained? Open those copper doors you have regular attack like so then you have special attack each character will have their own special attack <laughs> uh, each character will have its own special attack and it does more damage or it does some kind of different interaction but it caused the blue bar that is the mana that you have accrued which you can level up and get more points in it. You may notice that some levels will give you plus one. Some other levels will give you more. This is plus four vitality. We cannot bypass such a thing. So, you know, you weigh what you want versus what is giving you a lot. And uh, that is how you make your level up decisions. Uh, you know, Vampire Survivors is a very simple game. Pixel Descent is even simpler. But it's a very cool mashup of the two genres. Can you call it a genre if it's just aping wholesale? Uh, 1984, I mean 1985 video game? Is it really a genre? There's not that many games like Gauntlet, are, are there? There was a, a couple that have come out. Most notably, notably, I think it's actually called Gauntlet, but you know, modern. But it was very focused on multiplayer, and that is why I did not even give it a chance, because I am an antisocial buffoon, and I don't want to interact with other human beings. I want to be schooled and destroyed by the ghost in the machine, quite literally in this case. I want to just deal with ones and zeros. I don't want no analog experience in my ear. Sure, level 3 of the Stunning Shield. I don't want no people telling me, LOL, get pwned, and then the teabag 
my pathetic corpse or whatever equivalent it would be in Gauntlet. Probably running around in a circle and singing your sword twice. That is like the disrespect, disrespect gesture that they come up with. It doesn't matter what kind of video game it is. It doesn't matter how limited the social interaction is. Video gamers will find a way to basically create a consensus of a gesture that is disrespectful enough to get under your skin. Most notably, the teabagging uh, in Elden Ring. Oh. Spirit 5 increases mana region by 10%. Cannot possibly bypass a 10% mana region. Look, I'm completely out of mana here. Might as well get myself some extra juice to obliterate this filth. We have uh, only two keys. We need to get the golden key at some point. Let us go in here. The golden key is right there. You may notice the little arrows that point at, at them when they're off screen. So, you know, you don't really get lost in pixel descent. In theory, in practice, you do get lost because sometimes it's a, a freaking labyrinth, brother. I have been in situations... Ooh. I've been in situations where I am struggling to find where I'm supposed to go because I missed the little room in the top right corner of the map that had a crack in the wall and that is the one and only way to make your way forward. There have been situations where I'm like, man, the, the algorithm failed. The pathfinding completely dropped the ball and I can no longer find my way. Wow, there's a ass level up let's get ourselves a little bit more spirit because i do seem to use i do seem to use the special attack quite a lot it's all right i could just simply go around and go get myself a little bit more mana but uh i'm too lazy i'm just i just want to find it in my path so that i don't have to work at it but it's my approach to life in general really this poor goblin was just asphyxiating in that pot for eons his first instinct was to attack his savior for he is a base beast he cannot control his absolutely savage cravings it is a hundred percent safe and warranted to be super racist in this video game that is something i really appreciate in games when i can just be unabashedly racist it is really nice for a change of pace of uh, regular society always have to hold back you know it's just so annoying uh more attack speed sounds pretty good even though a 10 percent increase of my attacks also would be quite handy but whatever let's just destroy this filth you may notice that the timer at the top of the screen is now depleted look who's here the ghost uh or whatever version you want to call it of course there's mimics there must be mimics i am I thought that for sure I was going to be trapped by this horrendous, pale monstrosity. But uh, there's nothing else to be done. Look, there is one coin. I'm going to grab it, even though it just literally just a plus one. I'm going to go whore myself for treasure. Okay, there's nothing in here. Give myself 100 extra gold. The gold, it is not to be mm, spent during the runs. It is the currency for permanent progression, exactly like in Vampire Survivors. You have the gold and you spend it on permanent upgrades. Let's just teleport and there was a door right here. There you are. I forget whether you heal or not at the end of the level. I believe you do. Oh, this is the entrance. I need to go this way. I think you, that you do. You get a full heal, full replenishment of your resources when the level is done. So let us carry on. All right, all right. Uh, you are noticing right now, I think that the... I'm not sure if OBS is capturing the the recording software is capturing what is happening right now on my screen, which just now cleared. I'll have to check the recording, but a graphical issue and the only one graphical issue that I've seen, sure, more speed. Sometimes there is a weird duplication of the graphics, like a ghosting. You remember ghosting when monitors, you uh, you know, flat screen monitors were pretty new, pretty new, and the the frame rate just could not keep up the quality of the image, and they would create this weird ghosting 
of the image. For some reason, this game does that sometimes. It clears up after barely like 10 seconds. And it doesn't seem to be a widespread issue. But I, I just saw one other person complain about it in the Steam forums. I was like, man, this is, this is weird. Why is this happening? And I had to go and look whether it was a known issue or what. Developers seemed baffled by it. And I w just now glanced at the other monitor where I have the recording. Yeah, sure, a little bit more damage here. Uh, where I have the recording software to make sure that it's uh, capturing properly. And uh, I, don't, I did not notice it in the recording. But, you know, it's, it's a small window, so it may have shown. Either way, it's, uh, it's uh, an issue that you may want to have in mind. That being said, it barely affects anything. It's just for 10 seconds, it looks a little funky, and that's about it. We want plus five to spirit, give me more mana so that I can more effectively mow, mow down these absolute buffoons. Destroy the spawners, and we will carry on. We uh, found those keys really quickly this time around. A whole bunch of horrendous dark wraiths. Let us murder them a second time. These legions of the undead need to be put to rest. They are all too restless. You guys all need to go to sleep with the incredible helping yeah sure tempers and more speed is awesome the incredible helping of my violence once again another video game that teaches that violence is the one best and most appropriate option when you encounter yourself in a pickle another life lesson that pixel descent is teaching you use violence all the time Feel free to be extremely racist. That is uh, the lessons that I've taken from this excellent experience. It's so great. You know, it's not going to win any awards for art direction or going to melt your graphics card with incredible graphics. But damn it, if it's not a grand old time. Sure, may not become the best game you've ever played. Look. It's just fun. It's just a fun time. Very brainless. You, yeah, you can put it on, maybe, if you want to experience some kind of podcast or something. Sure, more, more damage on the stunning shield. And uh, just murder some fools. And it's a grand old time. For all ages. That's another thing that you can definitely recommend. I mean, is, is it scary, this... Animated skeletons, are they scary? Or would you say that a five-year-old can play this? I definitely would say a five-year-old will be delighted to play this game. It is very much all ages. Your kid, your nephew, you want to impress a date? You know, those women, they are all baby-brained imbeciles. <laughs> oh, man, uh, getting, uh, getting pretty spicy on this one. <laughs> Just, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I respect all humans equally, which is none at all. For me, you're all equally worthless. Destroy all this filth so that we can go in there, get to the damn enemy spawner. And at this point, we're just, just playing the video game. You have seen everything that there is to be seen about Pixel Descent, other than, you know, further levels will contain different layouts and different enemies and eventually the furthest I've gone it is level five holy crap man just, just this this terrible wall of bones and demons I cannot get through eventually enemies just get you it feels like you are invincible these fools cannot stop me until suddenly they do with extreme prejudice. It is quite uncanny. The, at some point, you just reach this this uh, wall of horrible enemies, and they absolutely obliterate you. And it always feels like it, you were just incompetent. <laughs> when you know they do increase damage as you carry on, as you know monsters often do in the video game experience. We actually have the gold. We have every key. These damn mimics, man. They, they just want to feast upon my soul. 
I just want to steal the contents of their entrails. Is it truly that bad? I don't think it's that bad. To slay a creature in the shape of a chest and then put its entrails in my pocket. I don't know why they have such beef with me. It's very strange. I mean, I'm not I'm not weird like a thousand year old elf on purpose stuffing her head inside of the mimic, getting some extremely disturbing sexual gratification out of it or anything like that. Presenting her booty for all to see? Absolutely not. Not going to do that. Just innocently slaying mindless creatures. Taking the stuff inside of their guts, spending it as currency. Maybe it's not my fault that this savage land considers mimic guts as a valuable currency. I did not make the rules, I just played by the rules of the game. Anyway, let's find ourselves the way out. The reason why you continue exploring because you need that experience so that later on you don't get absolutely destroyed. Okay, there was no reason to open that. So you definitely want to go around everywhere. There's the exit. Was it really? A, yeah, it was right next to the to the entrance. It often is, but you know, it will be blocked by a damn by a damn gate. We got an awesome little secret level. It doesn't always spawn. I don't know why it spawns only sometimes. But it's how we do. Sure, a little bit more damage there. Murder this filthy, disgusting thief. Steal all the stuff that they stole. I am the only larcenous person here. I'm the only one that is allowed to treat all these things laying about the floor of the dungeon like they're mine. Like they all were crafted with my name on them. And it's only a matter of time until I reach them. Bespoke and entitled to these goods. Let me get that copper key right now. We are now starting to face some sorcery, some evil vermin. Ready to obliterate the opposition. So it's not only the undead. Are these undead? I'm not sure. They could be undead sorceresses and undead rats. But I don't think so. These are mudmen. This is like we left behind the crypts and now we're going into the dark cult-like levels full of sorcery. I like, like I try to get as much luck as possible, but no one, it's only level one. Luck is very, very nice. It gives you critical chances, but also I think it gives you uh, better level ups. Don't quote me on that. That is just something that feels like it's true. I have no actual proof that it's true. Uh, we have one of these, yeah. We can now break in here so we can get ourselves the gold key. A little bit of a, of a problem to get in there. See, we can get some shields to bounce back and forth. Do more damage that way. Oh yeah, another level up. What are, what are these level ups, buddy? Give me a little bit of extra speed, I suppose. Speed... I started super valuing in it because usually you do, right? The faster you move, the better you're going to do in a game like this, being able to dodge. Honestly, the more I have played, the more I'm like, speed is actually kind of bad. Your best bet is not truly like, of, of course you want to be a master dodger, but your best bet is having massive amounts of firepower, okay? To be able to obliterate the opposition before they get to you. Uh, because the dodging is almost secondary and you're always... Like, you're going to be able to dodge around the bullets at base speed. So the only purpose of speed is just getting done with the level faster. And a little bit of better dodging, but uh, it's definitely... I've definitely undervalued it after playing uh, Pixel Descent for quite a while. Which isn't much. I think I may have put four hours into it, if that. Yeah, yeah, more speed because it's a plus four. That's just me looking at the big number and wanting it and not really thinking it through because probably the more valuable level up there was luck. Get ourselves a few uh, chances of critical hits. Creates a purple projectile that will kill enemies. I mean, it will just do double damage as critical hits often do. 
Pretty sure it's double damaging, maybe 150%. Does it irritate anybody else that some games treat critical hits as 150% instead of doing double damage? It always bothers me when a game does that. Oh, I am actually uh, blocking myself, getting myself into a terrible, trapped situation. And in fact, that is how I die. Sure, I'll get plus two luck. That is how I always die. I uh, unleash a giant group of enemies. I don't realize I'm backing myself into a corner. And then it's game over. See, the ralentization again. I don't know if you're seeing it. But it's happening right now. The game slowed down. Visibly slowed down. I don't know if it's capturing the ghosting. But it definitely slowed down. I am sure that that much got captured. Uh, but as you can tell... It resolved itself in like five seconds. Maybe not even, so not a big deal. You can just keep playing without any issue whatsoever. Annoys the shit out of me when a critical hit has 150%. How dare you? Get on with the program. This it should be a gaming convention. It should, it's cardinal gaming devel development sin to make critical hits 150%. Makes them not exciting whatsoever. Like, I'll take them, I'll still take them, they're useful, but come on, man. Give me the double damage, super boner, instead of the limp-wristed cretin father. That is a simple 150% critical hit. Blah! I spit up on it. Short sure, plus 10% damage on the regular attack. Uh, really don't want to let that slide you need some base damage or you simply you can probably tell you simply just cannot get through the walls of enemies if you don't have the damage it doesn't matter how fast you walk if your sword cannot mow down the enemies fast enough you're gonna have a real bad time getting to the enemy spawners uh, but right now the knight is doing quite well in that department he is absolutely wrecking the fools that stand in his way. Every filth, garbage creature drops at his incredible might. Okay, a little bit of uh, mana, please. I, oh, I have actually every, uh, every kid there is in the game right now. I mean, in the level. Also in the game. I don't know why I'm going up this way. I don't have to grab a whole bunch of experience, I suppose. Because there's really literally nothing here. Just, <laughs> just murdering creatures. But like I said, it's important to get yourself those sweet little experience nuggets. Shove them right up your rectum and get yourself extra stats by power of rectal absorbance. Alright. We're going out. We're going out. Down to level four? I have died in level 3, I have died in level 4, I have died in level 5, and that's as far as I've gotten. I, I really don't know why, I don't know why this, ooh, ooh, luck plus 4 is very, very nice, relic acquired. Enemies have a 1% chance of dropping a power-up that grants 0 mana cost for 7 seconds, okay. It seems like, I have acquired a bunch of those, but it seems like they're only per run. You would think they would be collectibles, but they're not. It's not. It's just a thing that you can find in one run, and then they go away forever. There's no real way that I've seen to buy them or anything. Let's see if we can get this. Nope. I don't know why sometimes they spawn, sometimes they don't. It may be random, but it seems it is driven by something. Man, I struck. Okay. Well, I gotta open any of it. These so it's a total waste. Unfortunate. Sure, we'll get a better stunning shield. Because uh, the alternative is getting a plus one in one of the stats. A, a whole 2% increase on one of my stats? Damn, I am so damn excited about this tiny increment of my power. And if I were to... If I were to level a criticism, obviously, this is a very simple game with simple aspirations. So you're judging on those grounds, right? You don't go like... Boom! Uh, the graphics really uh, could be so much better. I don't know why they didn't use 3D third-person shooter graphics for this video game. 
Uh, the mechanics are extremely lackluster. Where's my jump button? No, you're judging on, on the merits of what the, the developer was trying to do. And clearly the developer were trying to create a mix between Vampire Survivors and Gauntlet. And on those grounds, I'll tell you, the level ups could be a lot more exciting. They're good. I like them. They're addictive and all that stuff. They're good enough. I think that's the thing. It's good enough. They could be a lot more exciting. Like a 2% increase. Oh, it just feels so bad. No matter, no matter uh, where you get it. So it's like, maybe make the level ups uh, more powerful. Let's open everything. Make the level ups more powerful and just scale the game to, to match it, you know? And that way you're fooling me into a power fantasy where, in fact, everything's exactly the same as it used to be. It is simply feels like I just got a massive increase of power. But in truth, it could not be further from it. The truth it being the case. That is the construction of the sentence that I chose. And I am, uh, I'm rolling with it. It sometimes feels like you're not doing it, making any progress, but as long as the enemies are dropping experience, you are making progress. You should worry when you are killing enemies and none of them drop experience. That means that they are all... Oh, 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 mistakes were made. And that is, that is how I die. <laughs> uh, yeah, more, more damage on regular base attacks. Um... Worry when everything you kill drops no experience because it means that you cannot get in there. You cannot get past the spawning. The spawning uh, sources? Oh, I knew it. I knew I, I was getting greedy trying to get to them. Uh, I mean, I already showed you everything this game is about. So it's a, a timely death. Let's spend our money. Go to the shop extremely familiar you can even refund everything you have a pile of gold and you spend it on permanent upgrades or you can start a new run and then the new characters also co cost money let's unlock the dwarf there you go he throws beers at people the incredible power of inebriation there is pixel descent for you a neat little fun game that may entertain you for quite a while Give it a try.